Erica Albright's a bitch. Do you think that's because her family changed their name from Albrecht? Or do you think it's because I'll be you girls are bitches? For the record, she may look like a 34C, but she's getting all kinds of help from our friends at Victoria's Secret. She's a 34B, as in barely anything there. False advertising. <laughs> she has a nice face. I need to do something to take my mind off her. Easy enough, except I need an idea. I'm a little intoxicated, I'm not gonna lie. So what if it's not even 10 p.m. and it's a Tuesday night? The Kirkland Facebook is open on my desktop, and some of these people have pretty horrendous Facebook pics. Oh, no. Billy Olson's sitting here and had the idea of putting some of the pictures next to pictures of farm animals and have people vote on who's hotter. Good call, Mr. Olson. It's on. I'm not going to do the farm animals, but I like the idea of comparing two people together. It gives the whole thing a very Turing feel, since people's ratings of the pictures will be more implicit than, say, choosing a number to represent each person's hotness like they do on HotOrNot.com. The first thing we're going to need is a lot of pictures. Unfortunately, Harvard doesn't keep a public centralized Facebook, so I'm going to have to get all the images from the individual houses that people are in. Let the hacking begin. First up is Kirkland. They keep everything open and allow indexes in their Apache configuration, so a little wget magic is all that's necessary to download the entire Kirkland Facebook. Kid stuff. Next is Elliot. They're also open, but with no indexes on Apache. I can run an empty search and it returns all the images in the database in a single page. And I can save the page and Mozilla will save all the images for me. We just excellent. Moving right along. Excuse me! Mozilla has some security. They require a username password combo, and I'm gonna go ahead and say they don't have access to the main FAS user database, so they have no way of detecting an intrusion. Security but limits the number of results to 20 a page. All I need to do is break out the same script I used on Lowell and we're set. No online Facebook. What a sham. Nothing I can do about that. Dunster is intense. Not only is there no public directory, but there's no directory at all. You have to do searches, and if your search returns more than 20 matches, nothing gets returned. And once you do get results, they don't link directly to the images, they link to a PHP that redirects or something. Weird. This may be difficult. I'll come back later. Hey, shark me son. What? They still make you search, but you can do an empty search and get links to pages with every student's picture. It's slightly obnoxious that they only let you view one picture at a time, and there's no way I'm gonna go to 500 pages to download pics one at a time, so it's definitely necessary to break out Emacs and modify that Perl script. Perfect timing. Eduardo's here, and he's going to have the key ingredient. Hey, Mark. Eduardo. You and Erica split up. How did you know that? It's on your blog. Yeah. Are you alright? I need you. I'm here for you. No, I need the algorithm you used to rank chess players. Are you okay? We're ranking girls. You mean other students? Yeah. Do you think this is such a good idea? I need the algorithm. Alright. I need the algorithm. Give each girl a base rating of 1400 at any given time. Girl A has a rating RA and girl B has a rating RB. When any two girls are matched up, there's an expectation of which will win based on their current rating, right? Yeah. And those expectations are expressed this way. Let's write it. Who should we send it to first? Dwyer. Neil. Who are you going to send it to? Uh, just a couple of people. The question is, who are they going to send it to?
awful lot of traffic. I think maybe we shouldn't shut it down before we get into trouble. Since I think this is us. It's not a coincidence. Holy shit. From Mark Zuckerberg to Tyler Winklevoss, November 30th, 2003. I read over all the stuff you sent me re-Harvard Connection, and it seems like it shouldn't take too long to implement, so we can talk about it after I get all the basic functionality up tomorrow night. From Mark Zuckerberg to Cameron Winklevoss, December 1st, 2003. Sorry I was unreachable tonight. I just got about three of your missed calls. I was working on a problem set for my systems class. From Mark Zuckerberg to Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss, December 10, 2003. This week has been pretty busy thus far with classes and work, so I think it's probably best to postpone the meeting. I'm also really busy tomorrow. Okay, anybody else feel like there's something up with this guy? Tell him okay. But we do have to make sure that we meet up before we all go off for break. I know, I know. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> Uh, I need a dedicated Linux box running Apache with a MySQL backend that's going to cost a little more money. How much more? Uh, about 200 more. Do we need it? Got to handle the traffic. Do it. You already did. Hey, guess what? Clients, and he still hadn't completed work on Harbor Connection. But on January 11th, 2004, Mr. Zuckerberg registered the domain name to Facebook via Network Solutions. To the best of your knowledge, had he even begun? Shit, that looks good. That looks really good. It's clean and simple. No Disneyland, no live new girls. Watch. Relationship status. Interested. Where's the masthead? He made a masthead. Yeah. Eduardo Severin, co-founder and CFO. Yeah. You have no idea what that's gonna mean. How do you want to do it? Advertising. No. Well, we got four thousand members. Because the Facebook is cool, and if we start installing pop-ups for Mountain well, Dew, it's not gonna be cool. I wasn't Mountain Dew, but at some point, and I'm talking as the business end of the company decided. We don't even know what it is yet. We don't know we don't know what it can be. We don't know what it will be. We know that it is cool. That is a priceless asset I'm not giving up. So when will it be finished? It won't be finished. That's the point, the way fashion's never finished. What? Fashion. Fashion is never finished. You're talking about fashion, really? You... I'm talking about the idea of it, and I'm saying that it's never finished. Okay. But they managed to make money selling pants. Um, Mark, what is this? Amy! Amy! Yeah! Can you come out of here? Just a second! <laughs> What's going on? They have 10 minutes to get root access to a Python web server, expose its SSL encryption, and then intercept all traffic over its secure port. They're hacking. Yes, yeah, all behind a fixed firewall emulator, but here's the beauty. You know I didn't understand anything you just said, right? I do know that. So what's the beauty? Every 10th line of code written, they have to trick a shot. And hacking's supposed to be stealth, so every time the server detects an intrusion, the candidate responsible has to trick a shot. Because of a program running that has a pop-up window appear simultaneously on all five computers, the last candidate to hit the window has to trick a shot. Plus, every three minutes, they all have to trick a shot. <laughs> Hey, can I ask, what part of the intern's job will they need to be able to do drunk? You're right. A more relevant test might be seeing if they can keep a chicken alive for a week. That was me. Here. What is this? I opened a new account and put $18,000 in it. Did I get you through the summer? Welcome to Facebook. Team are great. It's exactly what it should be. I'm Sean Parker. Oh, he's wired in. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, 
guest living here rent free on a very generous grant from the Eduardo Saverin Foundation. I heard about your big ticket ad buys. Gary's tuxedos, hey, man. Harvard bartending course. You're just a small step away from bagging snooker. He's wired in. Is he? Yes. How about now, you're still wired in? Yes, Gary. You issued 24 million.